reached out for my dreams. I reached out for my vision. I reached out for help that I thought I needed. Cause reaching out, reaching out is the proof of passion. Hello again, our most developed student. My name is Confident. Today we are going to look at factorizing by grouping. Now in this lesson on factorizing by grouping, let us look at the example that is given. You are supposed to factorize by grouping 28AB plus 2CD minus 8AD minus 7CB. Now whenever they are talking about, are talking about factorizing by grouping, the first thing that you need to identify is what is common in the terms. Now, because we are given four terms, the main thing is to group them into two parts. You take the first two initially given as well as the last two and identify what is common in these. Now, if you look at the first two, you can see that 28 and 2, there is something common in which case it is 2. Now, if you look at the variables, you have got A, B in the first one and in the second one, you've got C, D. So there is nothing common between A, B, and C, D. In this case, the first two and the last two, there is nothing common because the main aim is to match the variables. So in this case, let's, let us suppose I want to match my A as the priority. So I'm going to look at another um, variable that contains A. In this case, it is minus 8, A, D. These two, if I group them together, the aim here is to match the A. And also, if you look at the second two, that will be remaining. In this case, I'll be matching the C as well as the C in 2CD and minus 7CB. So now, if we look at this grouping of these, what I'm going to have, I'm going to have, if I can use my pencil, 28AB minus 8 AD. Remember, I'm now rearranging and grouping what is common. Plus 2 CD minus 7 CB. If I look at the first two, now what is common, I have to focus on the numbers. The highest common factor or the biggest number that can go in 28 and 8 is a 4. And then remember, we chose A as what is common in the variables. So, in actual fact, what am I doing here? I'm going to take my 28AB, which is this one, and I'm dividing by the 4A. So, if I'm dividing 4 into 28, I get a 7. The A and the A will cancel to remain with a B. So, in actual fact, now you have got your 7B. Maintained with a negative, again, we are dividing the 8 AD divided by 4A. The 8 will, the 4 case got, gets into 8 twice and the A will cancel to remain with a D. So in this case now, we are going to have a 2D. Basically, that's what you're doing. You are dividing. So even in the second expression, what you'll be doing is dividing. So what you're having, what is common between 2CD and 7CB? There is nothing common between 2 and 7, but there is the letter. You take out a positive C. So in this case, again, we're going to be dividing 2CD. You are dividing by the C, and then you are going to have a 2D. And you're going to divide 7CB. You divide by a C, and when it cancels, you're going to be having a 7B. So you are going to have a 2D because we maintain the sign is minus 7B. Now when you have gotten that, the aim of factorizing by grouping in such terms is to ensure that what is in the bracket, for example, what is in the first bracket must match what is in the second bracket. So in this case, these two must match. So now how do you make them match? You can see that the 7B is positive in the first expression, but in the second expression it is negative. And the 2D is negative in the first expression, but it is positive in the second expression. So your aim is to make sure that you match them. 
So what happens is you are going to use the concept of taking out a negative. So if I can rewrite 7p minus 2d, now I'm going to take out a negative c. Now what I want you to notice now is initially you had positive. Now because the negative has more power over the positive, so the c will affect that particular negative to make it I mean that particular positive to make it negative. So now you will interchange the signs inside. It will be negative 2d plus 7p. That's what we are going to be having. So now if you can check carefully, you will see now that what you are given is you have got 4a into 7p minus 2d minus c. If I rewrite with 7p beginning as positive, it will be 7p minus 2d. Now, look at this carefully. You can see now that the first bracket is now matching the second bracket, which was the aim of this. It was to match the first bracket as well as the second bracket. Now, if we continue with that, we are going to now write what is outside the bracket. Now, we have got 4a and minus c you can start with that so you have got 4a minus c in brackets and then what is inside the bracket is 7p minus 2d so this becomes the final answer now there is a way of proving if your answer is correct so now let us quickly look at that we prove by what we call expansion so you have to expand the final answer that you are given so in this case, you are going to look at this final answer and do what we call expand. Now, how do you expand? If I can rewrite the problem that is given, you had 4a minus c multiplying 7p minus 2d. So whenever we're expanding, what you're doing is you're taking the 4a to multiplying the first 7p and as well as the 4a to multiply the second which is 2d and then the c which is negative c will multiply the 7p and again it will multiply the negative 2d so if we do that we're going to have the 4a in bracket multiplying the 7p you can just put in bracket and put positive sign in between and the 4a is multiplying the second one, which is negative 2d. Now, the next one is the c, positive again. The negative c is multiplying the 7p. And the last one is the negative c. Don't forget, I must put a positive in between. is the negative c multiplying the negative 2d so what i have 4 times 7 with my calculator i will still get my 28 in alphabetical order i'll write it as a b 4 times negative 2 which is negative 8 a d and negative c times 7 b which is negative 7 b c and negative c times negative 2d Two negatives will give me a positive to CD. I'm just maintaining my alphabetical order. Now, if I look at the first one, the problem that I'm given, if I go to the problem given, I've got my, a, a positive 28AB, which is the first one given, a positive 2CD, which is the last one in the expression, a negative 8AD, which is the second one, and a negative 7CB which is the third one in this case is pc which is the same as cp now in this case if it is matching it means this is correct so that's how you can prove now remember this expansion is not necessary what is important is for you to do it in a rough piece of paper and then just as a as a method of checking whether you're correct now let us look at factorizing again by grouping of the second example that is given now i'm going to work a bit faster Using the same concept, in this case, you can see there is nothing common in the first two 
and there's nothing common in the second two except that the second one has got the three and the three. But the main part that you have to focus on, remember, it is the variables. In this case, it is the AX, the BY, the AY, and the BX. So maybe you can choose to group the A together. I mean the X, I can choose to group the X together. So in this case, I'm going to take these as common as well as I'm going to take the center one as common. So now if I rearrange, I'm going to have AX minus 3PX plus 9PY minus 3AY. And then I my, my common one is X. I'll have A minus 3P and then plus 3Y. The common highest common factor between 3 and 9 is 3 and Y is common between. Then I'll have 3P Three p because three into nine is three p minus a. Again, you'll notice that the signs are interchanged. The a is positive in the first one. A is positive, but in the second one it is negative. As well as b is negative three p in the first in the second one is positive. So using the concept that I did previously, when I say it, you must take out the negative. We are going to have x, a minus 3p. Now, in this case, you can see that we have got a positive outside. Now, the positive, if I take out a negative, the negative has more power, making that 3y. And then I will have minus 3p. I interchange the sign plus a. So now, this will be x, a minus 3p and then minus 3y my, I mean I will have a that in this case so that I can match because a is positive a minus 3p so if I write my final answer I have got a minus 3p and I've got x minus 3y now remember as you said, you can prove this expansion, I mean this expression, by doing what we call expansion. So you can expand this expression. After expanding this expression, it will give you the one that we started it in the question, and you will know that your answer is correct. So this is what we mean by factorizing, by grouping, when given an expression like this. Thank you. For my dreams, I reach out for my vision. I reach out for help that I thought I needed. Cause reaching out, reaching out is the proof of.